All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I'm going to show you three tips that are very useful while you're working with Liveware. So the first thing is fixing validation issue over here while using select tool. So let me go over here and show you. If we put the validations either div over here and change this to members, and if I refresh the page, let me go back to create a point point form. And over here for members, let's make this as required. And if I hit the save button over here, we will not see that validations message, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can fix this. And the next thing is, uh, let me inspect it. Let me go to network tab. And over here, if I select one items, we are sending AJAX request to the server. If I choose another items, we are again sending AJAX request to the server. If I delete this, we are sending AJAX request to the server. But I don't want to make that happen. I just want to send only one AJAX request to the server when we submit the form. So in this video, I will show that as well. And the third thing is, uh, let me go to create appointment form .php file. And on the end, we have this code related to text area input field over for this one. And we'll refactor this code and make this one line. So let's get started. So first, let's start by fixing the validation error issue. So over here, uh, we are just displaying this message. And this will not work. We need to actually wrap this instead of main div so let me wrap this with one div okay let me indent it and over here we can add class and if there is error related to members right and we'll be displaying the class call is invalid right now let me refresh the page let me close this one and click on save and we see the validation message but we don't see the red border over here right because while using select to with live wire we get such weird issues so to make this workable uh, let's put another class called let's say is invalid only works on form control right form control class so now let me press it and click on save and we see that validations error with this border but it actually breaks the design we don't want to make this happen as well so to fix this let's do let me remove form control from here and let's add additional classes like we can add border and we can do border danger right now if i hit on save we get that border but let's add another class called rounded as well for rounded corners okay and it is working but another thing is here you will see two borders lining up so to remove one borders which is over here actually you will not see if you try, if you try this and you will see that on your application so let me go over here and then search for select to selections over here there is a class called select to selection and then there is a css called border one pixel solid okay so if we remove that we don't see that border right so let's remove that from using css so to remove that border let's add a css over here so let's push the css to the stack called styles and push and over here let's add a style tag okay so here let's add a custom class called custom error and then select to select to selection right
and we want to remove the border so you can simply do border now right and we need to use this class so let's use that class over here at the end let's say custom here okay now let me refresh the page click on save and we don't see that border lining up there this seems fine to me though we are unable to see this little icon over here so now let's move to the second one and the second one is we are sending ajax request to the server every time that we are changing these items so let's fix this so to fix this let me go to select to component class as we are using select to component over here right so let me go over here and we are listening for the change event and on every change event we are setting their value right so instead of doing this let me remove this from here and let me come back to create a point main form and over here over here let's add a script so let's listen for the form summit event so we can simply do form and then submit on submit let's press the closure and inside that closure we can paste that code but we need to change this okay let me remove this and let's set this manually so we can do state dot members right and for this value we can do members and then value okay so now let me refresh the page and let me clear this let me select item yeah we are not sending any ajax request to the server which is perfect if i remove this we are not sending any ajax request to the server but if we click on save let me show you create appointment form and over here let me do line down this state let me refresh it remove this Yep, we are not sending any ajax request yet but now if we submit the form we'll be sending one ajax request and we have this available which is perfect so now let's move to the third one for refactoring the code so over here we have this code related to text area input field so instead of writing this code we can make this as one line while submitting the form we can set state.node to the value of note dot value right and then we can remove everything below this let me make this one line and let me move this over here okay let me remove this also we need to move this on the top otherwise we will get the error and now let's test this as well let me refresh it let me close this one and let's test this as well let's save this and we got that value as well which is perfect and finally we successfully refactored the code and the final thing is let me move this code in our main layouts file so we may need that everywhere so let me go to app.blade.psv file and over here let me paste that okay let me refresh it let me go to create appointment form let me remove this as well let me refresh the page and click on save and everything is working 
so i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will upload in the videos like this and in the next video i will show you how we can use booty strap color picker with liveware so stay tuned till then have a great time and i will see you in the next one Thank you.